All right, I've always told you all that I will be as honest as possible when it comes to my struggles and my journey in weight loss and in ultra running and running in general. Now, I don't think I've ever held back the struggle or at least talking about the struggle I've had with weight as an adult, but it has been a major issue since I became an adult, since I was 18, 19 years old, going off to college, gaining my freshman 15. I've always had this kind of self-destructive relationship with food. I love food. Most things are not that bad if you take a moderate approach to it. The thing that I've seen with me since college and, and getting a job or I sat at a desk, the least active that I am, I seem to struggle more going out to lunch, uh, you know, eating too many calories, not keeping track of calories, not really realizing how many calories there are in the things that you eat, snacking too much, eating out of boredom, eating out of stress, eat, eating out of anxiety and depression, things that we all struggle with, that I have struggled with my whole life. Now here recently, I've struggled more than usual with, with COVID and the stress of my job and uh, being a father and a provider for my family, YouTube, all of the things, all of the things that make up our lives, my life, good or bad, create stress. And we all cope with them in different ways. The ways that I cope with them is I run a lot to try to burn off the kind of energy that comes from that. I, I can clear my head. I love running in the woods because it's just really therapy to me. And the other thing that I do is I comfort eat, I snack. One of the major things that I've even preached on this channel is you have to be aware of what you're eating and why you're eating it. Like you shouldn't just be eating empty calories for no reason because you're bored. Can you enjoy life and enjoy food? I believe you can. Now there are people out there that are gonna be in the extremist group of health and fitness. And if you wanna have a six pack, you can't do that. And I want to enjoy life. I don't want to be so dogmatic about my diet that I'm not happy, that my wife is not happy, my kids aren't happy. I wanna find a moderate, healthy balance to my health and fitness while still being able to maintain a healthy weight. And right now I don't think I'm at any unhealthy weight. Uh, just to be fully transparent, 190 is normally the weight that I've been on this channel going back when I was at my racing weight, if you wanna call it that, my fighting weight. Um, that's I graduated high school at 195. Um, I don't have as much muscle mass as I did then. I'm sure there's been some give and take in muscle and fat over the years since uh, since my my graduation. But here recently, I've struggled even more. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. I brought it up here and there. I'm getting plateaued, you know, between this kind of 209, 215 range. And I've said that I need to start, you know, monitoring, uh, monitoring my caloric intake. As much as I'm running, I actually thought, you know what? I don't really need to monitor. I don't really need to keep track. I'm keeping track of what I'm doing. Uh, I'm running a ton, so it's going to all kind of go towards the goal. I'll get there eventually, but I've started to realize it's not. I'm really plateauing and I'm not keeping track of the calories that I'm taking in. I'm, I'm snacking more. I'm not eating these huge, ridiculous meals. I eat a, a sensible breakfast, uh, a moderate lunch, and then I eat dinner with my family. And But I think it's the in-between snacking that I'm doing because I'm always so hungry. My metabolism is just kind of firing. So I got that, that feeling when you're young. I don't know if you all remember that of just being young and active and your metabolism burning. You can never satiate that hunger that you have. It's kind of like my 15-year-old son right now, always hungry so active, always needing food and getting hangry. I want you all to know you're not the only one struggling out there. This channel is for the average person from the person who just wants to run around the block. They don't have any ambitions on running further. They just want to kind of maintain a healthy lifestyle, talk to other runners, and possibly maybe branch out into doing 5Ks, 10Ks, all the way up to ultra marathons. All runners are welcome in the Motivation Theory running community. We are not elitist. We don't put anyone down. We don't look down on anyone because they're slower or faster or only run a certain distance. We don't, we don't do that here. Everyone is welcome. But with that, we're real people that struggle with things like stress and anxiety and depression and busyness and overeating and a myriad of other health things that can happen to us humans. So I just want to talk about my struggle and say, yes, 
I am struggling with weight right now and most of you might look at me and many of you might look at me, not most of you, and think, you know, what's the big deal? It's not a big deal. But for me, it's, it's, it's bothering me because it's kind of affecting my gains. I'm feeling really fit right now and I'm enjoying, you know, being back now. I've run, you know, 11 or 12 ultra marathons since my comeback at the beginning of 2020. And I could be doing much better and it's all my fault. I need to start adding more weight training, strength training. I need to do that anyways from a running standpoint to strengthen my core and to shore up my lower back that I've always battled with. Uh, from an accountability standpoint, I want you to, to, to know that I'm struggling with this. This is something that I'm actively struggling with right now. And it's gonna get better. I know what I need to do. It's just a matter of doing it. Even the people that you see online, you get to see the end result. You get to see the happiness. You get to see the, the success. I like to show the struggle. I like to show the work. I like to show the failures and I like to talk about them because it makes the successes much more enjoyable and uh, I think they make make them authentic so you can see the work from beginning to end. You can see how the, the soup is made and that it's not all sunshine and smiles and everything's good and everything always works out and I don't struggle with anything. And there are a lot of channels out there like that and you know there's nothing wrong with that. That's what they choose to put forward. but. This channel I like to talk about is the real stuff that we deal with, and I hope you all appreciate that. I'm gonna do something that I think uh, this is something that I've never done on here before, and uh, from an accountability standpoint, from a historical standpoint, I need to lose, I wanna lose 20 pounds right now, 20 pounds by the 24 hour uh, adventure trail run, and Throwing a gauntlet down now. I need to do it. So, gonna do a before and after. Here's gonna be the before. Do my fat boy picture, as you can see. Battling a little bit of these these love handles here. Um, yeah, that's me. Here's my before. That's it. That's me. Not enjoy, I don't enjoy this at all. Um, but I'm going to enjoy the success, the accomplishment when uh, I reach my goal. And you all will be able to be there and see it. So there it is my fat boy. All right. Sun's out, gun's out. Let's go. Let's go. 24 hour adventure trail race. Fat boy's got to lose some weight. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and click right there.